Okay, this is an update on the gene. This would be my third revision now. I managed to pack all the electronics within the roaster and added a LCD display. Also the original knobs are functioning now, again. <laughs> and um, we can now roast from a template that can be predefined on your PC. You can um, roast freely like you did um, previously on the gene, so you can set your um, preheating temperature, um, your end duration, but you can change that during the roast, and um, then set your temperatures. Also, you can select if you want to remove the beans and if you want to um, cool down. Then, if you have a good free roast, you can easily replicate it by replicating the free roast, and you will select your um, roasting template that you created during your pre-roast and then you should be able to um, create the same bean profile again. Also I added some options like um, you want to cool the roaster. It doesn't start now because it is already cool. You can create a new roast profile by setting the times and temperatures for um, each location. And you have 10 locations in total for now. And after that you can just um, save and give the file a name and then you can select it. And you have some settings in the options, like what is the temperature where the roaster should shut down when it is cool. This is still set to 23 degrees, that's wrong, it should be around 60 or 80. All settings will be saved on an SD card, which you can take out from the roaster and um, put into your PC and review your roast profiles. Um, you can select if the beans should be cooled or if you want to cool them externally. So you don't need to um, pause during the cool cooling process. And you can still select your drum speed and your fan speed, but I won't change them. These are set to an original setting, so the fan will always be 100% and the drum is about 50% because I um, doubled the voltage. And you can also select your PID parameters. These are <laughs> fairly high, um, but they work for this roaster and you could change them depending on your hardware. E.g. if you have an American um, heating element, you might need different parameters here. What I wanted to do now is um, do a test roast um, where I have different uh, so roasting slopes, um, like one that's more um, convex, one that's linear, and then several um, stages where I want to hold the temperature. The first one should be only um, convex. So I select my test roast. It's test one, I guess. It loads the profile. It loads the preheating temperature that I selected in the profile. And now the roaster will preheat to that temperature and then ask me to insert the beans. Okay, we are at target temperature now, and I will add 110 grams of coffee beans. These are from Nicaragua. Just select. Now. Select again and it loads all um, set points. So the circles uh, mark the point where we want to be uh, from our temperature at a given time. You can see the time for each point and you can uh, manually change it if you want. So if you change the temperature, it sets the point also. Uh, where was it? And you can change the time. You always know where you want to be and you also have an exact exact time stamp. Of course it's getting very cool now because uh, we are over one of the rare over 180 degrees and then um, it takes some time for the PAD to kick in and the first slope will always be very steep.
Okay, now we are heating again. And you can see in the top left corner is the current time. And, uh, next to it is the estimated end time. You still can change that with the last uh, set point. And then we have our current temperature and our um, aim. Temperature aim. I also try to scale it so we can have um, the most important part on the display and it starts at 160 degrees Celsius. So um, it should be enough to, to maneuver your end of the road in the higher area and you should be able to see is the roaster working, where do I have uh, like holding stages at 180 degrees or something like that. Also normally I would use about 220 grams of coffee beans but for these tests I have five different tests that I want to run I use just 110 grams so this should be enough and you also can better see how the roaster will behave because if you add too much coffee you can just turn on the heater full power and it will just heat and heat and you always get the same curve because you can't you don't have the playroom So you can already see, at first the uh, temperature shoots down, then it comes up again and then between the first and the second point it uh, stabilizes and then you have a more linear effect. Also the heater will now, after the second set point at 3 minutes and 20 seconds, will um, go on full heat till it reaches the, the third target temperature and then it will hold this temperature. I also try to do different slopes like um, go linear from one point to the next or have a, a budge in it so you can um, set how it will behave like different larger roasters would do like you have a drum roaster that uh, has a really strong heating element then you will be um, slightly above the temperature all the time but um, this didn't work too well and it doesn't make too much sense for this kind of roaster it has not much energy you uh, need to do a lot of coding it just didn't work out like uh, you would expect it to be. So this setting should be fine and if you want to do different slopes you can always just um, change the PAD or you can change your set points to a different slope or different holding time. Also it is fairly cold today, I think we are around 0 degrees Celsius, so it might take a little longer to heat up.
Okay, when we're at 6 minutes 40, the next set point will be loaded and I need to make a cut here because I'm running short on memory. Okay, we're now at 11 minutes and as you can see a line appeared that will go with your current roasting time. Uh, it helps to see where you currently are, but originally it was meant to detect your first and second track, so it did not work like I wanted it to. Um, but the track detection would only go over the um, heating temperature or the exhaust temperature, so you would uh, look for a small bump that goes down and up again and um, as you see it did not work like it should. Um, what my aims are for this is uh, I want to write another forum entry in an English forum this time and add a PDF to it uh, with all the steps um, so you can build your, your roster uh, or the modification with the Arduino yourself you can upload your code or my code and then um, you should be able to recreate this if you want and if you have enough knowledge uh, over the technical components. Crap. This does not sound good. <laughs> yeah, well. Sometimes the sound changes when it gets hotter or colder, something moves inside the roaster, I don't know. But it's still working, so I have this for like two years now with modifications, almost two years, and it still is working, which kind of amazed me at first. <laughs> but it's a good roaster, it produces really good results. Let's see if the end time is correct, I just estimated it. But I think we might be okay. Also you can see it is quite accurate. We almost always get to the point where we want to be from a temperature wise standpoint. And uh, if I compare this to my original results with the team, it was always like plus minus four degrees and it was a small disaster. First smoke is coming out. Let's see if we can hear the first crack. Okay, we need to add a little time. The at the end would go much better if we had more beans in the hopper, in the uh, drum, because um, they would um, keep the heat in. 
and now we only have um, high, higher airflow over the beans but um, it's, it's not so good for the first crack and the second maybe for the second it's better but for the first it is not so good Okay, the beans look good, I think that's it. I will do some more rows, add them to the um, forum entry and then thanks for watching. Okay, we skip the cooling process here. Select template. Whoops. Okay, we skip this part. Select. Oh yes, that's linear. Okay, bye.